clutch up. Clutch down. Clutch, clutch the front way up. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much. We are somewhere quite special today. We are at Abingdon Airfield, where we have been invited to come by my sponsor, Avail. You can see them on my top here. They've uh, paid for me to come uh, and test out the Optimus Prime truck. It is fantastic. I can't wait to get behind the wheel of it. And uh, yeah, <laughs> check this out. Okay, let's get it started. So as you're already aware, this video is brought to you by Avail, my sponsor. Before I actually go out and drive that truck, take a quick look at this. Over to you, Luke. Thanks, Luke. Okay, so Avail is my channel sponsor, but who are they? Well, they're an open platform for drivers to find work and for logistic managers to find drivers. They match drivers with the jobs they want for the rate they want, and this is how it works. As a driver, you download the Avail app, sign up for free, and simply pick the jobs you wish to apply for. As a haulier, you create a job on the Avail website, and you only pay a £7.50 fee if a driver connects. Here, let me show you. Hauliers create the job type going at the rate they wish to pay. The minimum wage gap is £12.80, and Avail charge you £7.50 if you connect. As a driver, you will be paid £12.04p minimum. Hauliers can create as many job adverts as they like and can either offer the job to a specific driver that they have favourited and worked with in the past, or they can offer it to all drivers on the market. Drivers will be notified instantly once accepted for a job and they can plan for weeks in advance. There are no hourly cuts for wages, the drivers will be paid what is advertised. There are no hidden costs, drivers only incur a 6% processing fee, Avail are open, fair and transparent. What rates you see are what you get paid. You can give drivers and hauliers up to a five star rating at the end of the shift. The better your rating, the higher chance of success you will have. I really think this could be the future of this industry and I'm personally looking forward to working with Avail myself. For more information, click the link in the description below and show your interest. Anyway, back to Luke in Abingdon, Oxford. Yeah, I think that's it. Got to go higher, too low, oh, that's better. Yeah, it's a bit better now. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, I've got to get my foot right, my knee right up to get the clutch down. <laughs> right, so. Okay, so we've got basically a four speed H pattern one, two, three, four, range change five, six, seven, eight. Right. Split on five to eight. Okay. Well, that's it in a nutshell. Go straight over my head. Too young for that, aren't I? Right, okay, so you've not driven manual boxes <laughs> no. with, with a range change. No. Okay, so what we've got is a four speed H pattern, so one, two, three, four, as you've got in your car. Yep. After fourth, come out of fourth, into neutral, click the range change, go back to first gear again. Okay. That then becomes fifth. Okay? Yep. You've then got a half gear, you can go fifth high, six low, six high. 7 low, 7 high, 8 low and 8 high. Okay, so you've got you've got a half a gear that you can split in between. So if you're coming to a big hill with a you know, big down. heavy load on, yeah. instead of changing down a full 500 RPM gear change, you can do a half 250 
revs and split change. Yeah. Keep the power on, you know, so split it down half a gear, half a gear, half a gear as you're going down the box until you find a gear that'll run up the hill in. Just to give it keep more power from running up the hill. I ain't gotta do that, I just gotta put the foot down a bit more, change exactly, the gear. Exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Click it into M and go, yeah, drop one. <laughs> it's the way we work today. It's easier now, isn't it? <laughs> That's right, it's a lot easier. Plus, as I said, there's no synchro mesh on the box. So the the you've got to get the gear speeds meshed to change gear, okay? Right. Quite crunchy. Um, if you stick it through fairly quickly, it will change with no problem. The other way to do it is double the clutching, you know, clutch down into neutral, clutch up, clutch down, pull it into the next gear, clutch up, okay? Change it down the box, clutch down, neutral, clutch up, rev it, clutch down, up into the next gear. Okay, so you've got to match the gear speeds. Okay. You know? There's going to be some crunching, isn't there? There's going to be some crunching. Yeah. Uh, let me introduce you to the world's most stupid clutch pedal. It's, it's quite high up, I that guess. Is, yeah, yeah it's, it's ridiculous. Give it a push, have a feel. It's purely mechanical, there's no air on it. Yeah. Okay. And the good news is that it engages right at the top, just as your knee hits the steering wheel, that's when the clutch bites. Okay. <laughs> so you won't get used to it in 20 minutes, it's not a problem. We all do, you know, we all have the same problem. Um, again, because we've got no trailer on, we will, we'll only use a few gears, we'll probably use third, fifth, seventh, something like that. Okay. okay. Yep. We'll set off in third. If you like, I can help you with the gears or do the gears for you. I think we'll probably try together. Yeah. You might know them by hand. Have a go. Have a go and see how you get on. And, and you know, if you go, no, I don't want to do that. I'll so, do for you. what are we going to go for third? Is it? Yeah, we're going to go for so third. Middle. It's basically straightforward towards the handbrake. Yeah. There you go. Sometimes it won't go into gear because the gears aren't meshed. You may need to just bring the clutch up when we're stationary. Just bring the clutch up a little to just move the gearbox and you'll feel it snipping then if you just keep some pressure on the, uh, on the panel, okay? All right. Handbrake button is there. Push that one to release the handbrake. When you're ready, we're gonna head down the runway. So don't give me too much gas, we just wait for this clutch to engage. There you go. I head it towards the middle. Middle of the runway. Yeah, a bit towards the central runway, fine. And you'll give a bit more gas and just, and just pull, pull straight back from the fourth gear. Leg up. It has to be at one swift pull, okay? What we have to do now is clutch up, clutch down again. Right, clutch up. Clutch down. Right, clutch far down. That's it, there we go. Right. One smooth, quick movement, okay? Right, try that next time. Yeah. I'll just do the range change for you. That, that puts a little bit. Clutch down for that, or? Yeah, clutch down. Ugh. Okay, clutch up. When we get to the middle of the runway, we're going to turn left. We're down to the far end of the runway. I was obviously telling an 80s American trucker by the huge thigh and the bad <laughs> It's crazy to think this is 1983 and that, you know, a European truck of this age would have been nothing like as primitive as these things. No, exactly, yeah. yeah. But I mean, they're fun, it's a giggle. Down there, yeah. Round to the left, down the main runway. Windows then? Air actually, everything's air on this, even the wipers are all air. Oh, all air is it? Yeah. Oh, hey, you can hear it, yeah. yeah. That's cool. So, uh, how many horsepower has this got? Uh, it's a Cat 396, it's about 520. Quite a lot of torque. Yeah, I could feel it like when you go, yeah. yeah. You want to give it a little bit more well and change up, you can do, just give it a swift pull straight. Where am I changing the gear stick? Straight back. That's it.
there's not a lot of window space, is there? No. So, it's incredibly small cabin too, isn't it? Yeah, it's very cool. small, yeah. Because it looks big from the outside. But That's right. Yeah, the inside, it's inside. Like top hat. Yeah, very comfy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Comfortable. Okay, so if you follow it around to right, just the other side of the little other bit. side. Yeah, yeah. That's a jest of saying it goes up down there, so it goes down there. It's a bit of a jest of the rest of the right. It'll make it work for you, isn't it? <laughs> America, though, they've got bigger space, more space, well, haven't they? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of the people who watch my content from uh, see overseas, yeah. they're always uh, amazed about how tight our roads are. Yes. And yeah. how tight the places we've got that's to go right. into are. Yeah. So. Well, that's right, yeah. As you say, I'm trying to put this into a British RDC. Would be <laughs> difficult, <wouldn't it? laughs> it probably take longer to line up than it does to win a load. That's right, yeah. It takes ages to win a load yeah, in some yeah. places. So were you a truck driver? Yes, yes, I did. Trucking on and off for 40 years. I stopped first started by going to the Middle East in the early 80s. Oh. But these days it's up semi-retired, so I just drive for these guys. I bring one of the uh, bring one of the transporters. Right, so if you go on onto the main runway, and yep. then we'll do a big UE and spin round and we'll reverse into the um, garage there. So you have to ready to go full on. Yeah. That's full lock. <laughs> yeah, that, that's full lock. We'll get there eventually. That's why I do it here so there's plenty of run off this side to get us back out into the middle of the lane. Straight back. <laughs> it's going to struggle getting around roundabouts, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, it can be, yeah, yeah. We've actually had one of our guys got stuck in the service area with a small roundabout. Back and fill a few times to get around the roundabout with the trailer on. So reverse is over beside first. So over here. Two and forwards, that's it. Again, just keep pushing it from the clutch up a little bit. There you go. That's it. Yeah. They've got your own YouTube channel, have you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's called Luke Scene HTV. Uh -huh. It's got 30,000 subscribers. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Viewed about, well, it's viewed over a quarter of a million times a month. Oh, cool. Yeah. Want to get as close as I can, or? Yeah, yeah, cool. I just see how close you can get to it. Perfect. Well done. Lovely. Spot on. Okay, so pull up, pull away from there. That's it. We'll go straight down. Do this time, you can see there's a couple of barriers down there. Yeah. Okay. With judgment. So okay. You can get it through there without touching the, uh, the barriers. Yeah, 
because you think you're only that wide, don't you? That's right. <laughs> Obviously, you've got a slightly different perspective in your left hand drive, but uh, you should work it out. I mean, with this thing, it's just a case of pulling the nose at it, really. Oh, it's pretty, pretty thin, isn't it? It's quite narrow. Yeah. Perfect. Well done, that map. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Okay. We've got the range changed, so we get on. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Let's go. So, Switch up neutral back to first. Switch up neutral yeah. back to first. Yeah. Which one's the switch? That one? Yeah. As quick as you can. Okay, do it very really quickly. Perfect. Well done. You've got it. I've never done this before, ever. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> but that's, I said that, that's the way to do it, is quickly. While the gears are still slowing oh, down, doing you it, just yeah. click in. If you try to do it slowly, I said you've got to double your clutch it. Pop it down to neutral. Flick your switch down. Automatically, every time you stop, flick your switch down. Okay. Yeah. Right, are we going to go run round here, between the oh. cones, without knocking any cones down? Again, I suggest you do it in so seconds. That's so down, about, is it? About here, yeah. Backwards, that's it. Touch up a little bit here. That's it. There you go. These cones have uh, been hit a few times, have they? Uh, yeah. I can't really see them, to be honest. <laughs> no, that's right. They can. This is one of the one of the reasons we make you do it. I mean, you know, you know, you've just got to use your judgment. You? you do have a little window down here that looks a few. Oh yeah. Well Thank you very much done. for that. Have you got your driver card with you? Ooh, the card they gave you. Uh, which is in here. That one. That one. Okay. There's that one there. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. That one. Well, it's got a 
me 90 plus, isn't it? Because you're doing really well. Yeah, I'll give you 96. <laughs> you should do really well. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice, bit of, uh, nice bit of finesse with it. That's good. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. That's literally one of the best things I've ever driven. I've never driven a manual clutch truck before, so that was something I had to get the hang of. There was a few gear crunches, not many, but I did manage to get it in all right in the end, so it's all, it's all okay. It went quite well. I just heard someone beep their horn, beep the horn. I never, <laughs> I never honked the horn. Why didn't I honk the horn? Ah, oh, never mind. Anyway, it was fantastic. There's uh, not a lot of space in the cab. It's quite a compact area. And like in terms of actual viewing windows, I found myself like ducking left and right, trying to see where I was going. When I was negotiating the cones, like you just couldn't see the cones. Uh, <laughs> you're in this big, massive wide vehicle and there's like hardly any like windows to view out of like it's just the blind spots on on that thing was unbelievable um i can't see how it is a working truck on the uk roads because like you just can't really see very much on it but never mind uh the brakes as, as i mentioned the brakes were like very hard whereas on a traditional truck or my truck at least they're, they're spongy um but no on 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 this it's not <laughs> it's just very very hard but uh the the clutch is really high up, so I found myself having to get my leg up like above the steering wheel just to get my foot on the top of the clutch to actually lower it again. But no, that was an interesting thing to do. Uh, I didn't think I'd ever drive one of them really. Not, not really. Uh, it's over there in the background now, look, I can see it. But that's amazing. Uh, so big shout out to obviously my sponsor Avail for, for paying for me to come here, but also thank you to Car Chase Hero as well, because you're not actually allowed to film. I'm not allowed to be where I am. Um, I've actually been approached by a couple of people now uh, asking why I'm here. <laughs> um, but I've showed them the email. I got an email to say that I'm allowed to be here and stuff. But, um, but yeah, no, big shout out to, to Car Chase Heroes. There's some fast cars here. A lovely jubbly. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.